So I want to address the following comment on my video regarding the evolution of SOLIDWORKS from 95 to 2023. I received the following comment. So 30 years of innovation and SOLIDWORKS runs like crap on my work PC with 1070 Ti. How in the world did they run this in the 90s? Now, regarding this, initially I want to discuss some aspects regarding SOLIDWORKS because usually that message that will pop up so let me just move this over here. This will be from Go Engineer. Usually the SolidWorks resource monitor will usually pop up and that is mainly regarding the RAM memory. If you have any problems with the graphic card, you may receive this warning. So graphic card is not certified. If you are experiencing issues with your system and over here, this is the main problem is that the SOL system and SOLIDWORKS mainly have, let's say, designed SOLIDWORKS to be compatible with only some specific GPUs and the ones that are considered for um, gaming are not actually supported by them, even though the ones that are intended for gaming, especially from NVIDIA, are more powerful than uh, the others. And I started to experience this when I started to use also 3D experience with support for VR. And I've noticed that graphic cards that um, are intended, let's say for CAD, because this is how they brand them, are not really working with that VR. Especially if you're gonna do some Unity and Unreal Engine, you're gonna see how weak those graphic cards are. Even though they are branded as um, optimal for CAD uh, solutions. And we see over here, for example, for a list of all the graphic cards supported by SOLIDWORKS, but no longer certified with newer releases of SOLID. So if you're gonna take a look at this list, we're gonna see over here from uh, both um, AMD and NVIDIA. So they will be listed like this. We're gonna see the whole section regarding Quadro, the Quadro for mobile. So these are the most common in, um, in laptops that are intended for computer aided design. But from my experience, I have noticed that even though they are a lot more expensive than um, standard laptops that are mainly intended and branded as gaming, those will not work better within SOLIDWORKS. So that's just from my uh, experience. And if you're gonna take a look over here at the system requirements, they have them listed over here only for, um, let's say, the current release and the one uh, further and uh, before that. So we see over here that for hardware, the processor, it's let's say, uh, this is really general. So we see Inter64 and NMD64. So that's not really something um, to take note because there are no specifications regarding which type of processor. For example, with Katia, there are some problems. Mainly the problems are that Katia is a single core software. Therefore, if you're gonna use a processor like a Xeon processor that will have a higher amount of uh, cores, but they will um, have lower frequency, you're gonna experience that Katia will not run so smooth. So that's one of the problems. Now, regarding the resource usage of those, uh, so Katia and SOLIDWORKS. I'm gonna start with uh, SOLIDWORKS over here. If you're gonna take a look at the memory, so currently I only have um, OBS for recording and um, SOLIDWORKS and Katia open. And over here, if I will filter this by, um, by the memory, we're gonna see over here that, so currently, the SOLIDWORKS visualization boost will use most of, uh, of the memory. Afterwards, OBS, since I'm recording to make this video, I'm currently running also Dropbox over here, but we're gonna see that SOLIDWORKS will only be added over here, so not that much. And Katia will be less than that, so we see that it's almost half. Now, let me just open something over here, so I will open this jig model within SOLIDWORKS, and we're gonna see how that uh, resource will uh, will increase. So this is a large update, a large uh, assembly, and uh, we have that added over here. So some of the components 
will be hidden. I'm gonna make those visible. We're gonna see how much memory those will use. So we see that now SolidWorks is all of, already over here on top with uh, almost uh, 1.3 gigabytes of RAM. So out of the available 16 that I have on this uh, this computer, SolidWorks will already use those. But again, I also um, encountered that many times that um, I will get this message. So check your system. It is strongly recommended that you run the system diagnostic and act upon recommendations, even though there are still enough resources left. But usually if I will start various programs and uh, my RAM memory will be fully, let's say, used or close to that, we're going to see that this resource monitor will pop. And this is really weird because even on my laptop that has um, 64 gigabytes of RAM, I still encounter that problem. So I have to agree that um, the newer versions are not that optimized regarding the, the resource usage, since it's quite uh, weird that uh, laptops with 64 gigabytes will receive that, that warning. And on my older PC that is uh, more than 10 years, uh, since I built this, I'm not experiencing um, so many problems. But that also depends regarding the, um, the version and so on. But yeah, overall we see that um, the resource usage is quite high over, over there. So over here I don't have any large assemblies that I can rapidly open, but from my experience, Soldiers will use a lot more resources than um, than Katia, for example. So let me know in the comment section what are your experiences and uh, regarding this. So how often do you encounter this? Check your memory, because I encounter it quite um, frequently, especially within the newer version. And if I'm also running Unreal Engine on that. Um, on the laptop at the same time, this will start uh, to pop up, even though within Solid, I'm just uh, within a blank scene, so there's nothing being loaded. But that's mainly because Unreal Engine in some scenes will use most of the um, resources, both in terms of um, graphic card and also regarding the, the RAM memory. Because with this model loaded over here, if I'm gonna check the usage for the graphic card, that will be quite low, and I have a um, lower spec graphic card than, uh, than the user that uh, added the comment. I have a 970 GTX over here, and we're going to see that the utilization is currently set to 14%, and the max usage is 30T, 33 over here. So as I'm going to rotate this, we're going to see that the utilization of the GPU will not increase this is mainly due to the fact that SOLIDWORKS doesn't require powerful GPUs since there are no um, complex shading over here within the viewport in real time. If you're going to start to change, um, let's say, the, the scene and edit that, and I will add some uh, ambient occlusion and uh, shadows, those will start to, to use some resources, but Again, not that much. So we saw that as SOLIDWORKS was active, this went all the way to 23. And um, yeah, if I will try to change that background, we're going to see that in this case, I have a max of 35 over here, which I currently never had. So if I will start and um, unhide some of these components, Let's see if that 35 has been increased. So currently, no, it's still over there to 35. So I will change this to the rooftop. I will also add a little bit of perspective. But again, the maximum will still be around uh, 35. So even though I increase the complexity of the model and um, I have multiple elements that are currently not hidden, so let me just add some more 
a lot of warnings within this since uh, it has a lot of step files that have been imported let's see now if we're gonna use a little bit more so again the maximum will be 235 so we see that um, that gpu memory if i will also add the background over there to the back so as you can see even though this is an older graphic card I still can't manage to um, to use, let's say, all the available resources. And in terms of RAM as well, we see over here that those will not be increased. Okay, so let me know in the comment section what is your opinion regarding this. As I said before, I'm really curious how often do you encounter the resource monitor and if you have any problems regarding the graphic cards. Because SolidWorks, as it has been designed, usually if uh, you won't have um, specific, uh, let's say, Quadro cards or Fire Pro, if you are using an AMD um, hardware, you're going to receive those notifications quite a lot. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. I will position a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.